Begin with the latest on an EBT outage affecting hundreds of thousands of SNAP recipients around the nation. According to the State Department of Social Services, the program is now back up and running, at least here in South Carolina, after families spent hours without access to food. Sunday, a trip to the grocery store brought more frustration than food for families receiving benefits through the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. We spoke to one man about what he heard at a Midland store when the EBT system used for SNAP went offline. He asked us not to identify him. When they were making an announcement what all they would accept. They never did mention EBT. Once that was announced, several people just let go their basket and left out the store because they weren't able to buy groceries. According to the State Department of Social Services, a nationwide vendor outage is to blame, with the cards out of service for roughly four hours. And the children, how are they going to eat breakfast in the morning and be able to go through a work week without you know, grocers in the house at the beginning of the week. In a statement to News 19, DSS called the outage a multi-state issue that's now been fixed in South Carolina, saying, quote, the third-party processor for EBT cards has confirmed to DSS that all systems have been restored and cards issued to clients should be operational statewide at approved EBT retailers. Returning the benefits to families in need. All right, taking a closer look at SNAP benefits now, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program provides food to qualifying families and individuals who are in need through the EBT system. Now, the latest data from the Department of Social Services shows the number of South Carolinians who have been receiving those benefits, more than 620,000 in our state.